thank you for joining me. I thought I would show you um, my wet palette. Now there's a lot of videos out there to, to show you how to create your own wet palette but I just wanted to perhaps give a tip that um, some of the others uh, don't give. Some of you may not be aware what a wet palette is and um, I'll show you or try to show you what they are useful for. So as you can see what we have is some baking parchment not the wax type, the other type. We have like um, a cloth, one of the disposable cloths and of course the sealable box. So if I remove the um, the baking parchment and then remove the cloth all you do is add some water to to the lid or to the base of your wet palette put your cloth back in and then put your baking parchment on top of that so I'll just get myself some water and I'll show you how this works so I'll add the water okay put my disposable cloth in you can use a sponge as well put that in I should really change this because as you can see I've had some paint leak um, into the uh, into the cloth but it's not contaminating any other paint so that's that's okay then I'll add a piece of clean baking parchment and smooth it out any excess water I drain drain off because I don't want this to get over wet And that is basically it. Smooth this down so it's all kind of touching the uh, the disposable cloth, and away you go. Now, what the wet palette allows you to do is basically put paint on this, and rather than having the problem with, say, uh, a normal palette, paint palette or a tile, wherever you might put your paint on. What happens with this is you put your paint on and the water that's basically coming through the paper, because it's not excessive, it's keeping the paint moist. And so, especially if you're doing miniature figures, um, you can uh, use this practically all day. Now obviously when the weather is really hot your um, cloth is going to be drying out um, but when you've got normal temperatures as, as I say you can just you just keep using this and then if you need to take a break for lunch or wherever you put your lid on and seal it up and that will keep. You can come back in an hour and of course your paint won't have dried out it'll still be there ready for you to use but one of the things that I've noticed that some people are doing with their palettes is especially if they're figure painters I've, I've noticed one person in particular I won't mention names um, they, they have created the wet palette <clears throat> and they've used this part of the box is the base okay and I'll show you why that's a problem when you're a figure painter so you got your paint I got my brush when you figure paint you want the best tip that you can get on your brush okay and the way to achieve that when you um, when you're putting paint on your brush is you is you get your paint now you still may have to um, wet the paint a bit in order to get the right consistency and this is this is the trick and I learnt this from um, Duncan on Games Workshop for Warhammer TV when he used to do the figure painting for them so what you do is as you're taking the the paint away from the from the wet palette you twist the bristles 
and that gives you although it's not focusing very well for you your point on your brush yeah you can't do that if you use the the deep section of the box because your brush is at an angle like this so you better if if you can get one of the like sandwich boxes that are really thin anyway that's fine that doesn't matter but if you if you got no if you got something lying around the house like this one as I say if you use the lid rather than the, the actual um, box itself then you'll be able to get this effect by being able to twist your your brush to get the point so I just thought I'd share that with you um, and I do I do use the um, the wet palette obviously as you saw there the the paints that were on the the old piece of parchment that was for the um, the USS Block Island the, the um, fleet carrier that I, I did sorry escort carrier I did um, and that was that was the paint from that and um, I didn't think I would use it for uh, vehicles and things but with the ships because you're painting um, thin strips like on the vertical surfaces of the structures uh, I found that it was useful to use the wet palette for that as I say mainly you use them for figures um, when, when I painted uh, Gandalf for instance here um, I would have used a wet palette the other useful thing about wet palettes is it gives you at least some idea as to what paints you were using when you were painting the figure so when you come back the following day well there's two things it helps you identify the paints but also you, your paint should still be available for you to use the following day so you just open your box and you just carry on so anyway that's it guys that's my uh, tuppence worth i hope you're all well thanks ever so much for watching and i'll catch up with you soon